guys welcome back to enigma 77 reviews i hope you're all safe and well right guys today i'm going to be doing an asos delivery it's a double whammy so it's two in one. Oh my god the box looks a little bit bashed again but there's nothing new i don't know what is Ugh, that is heavy so, so i went on to asos guys and had a look and straight away i could see some of the boots on sale and i mean on sale what the cheapest price i was just like so my first pair of lamoda boots from asos were reasonable as well but on the website they were 46 pound and i think i only paid like 25 pound on asos so i've got two pairs of shoes for the price of one if that makes sense so i got a refund with the refund rather than just like spending it on crap i thought i'm gonna get some more boots but i've seen something on here that was like <gasps> I've been wanting some of them for the longest time. So, guys, without further ado, let's get stuck into this ASOS delivery. Now, ASOS is a website that I found out from seeing such people as Shay and um, Lynette do unboxings on there. And then, obviously, my neighbour, he has shoes delivered from ASOS, and I've always wanted to know what it was about. So, when I went on there, they do beauty. They do accessories, they do clothes wear. Um, I think they do the odd homeware as well, guys. Not that I've really dived into looking at that in detail. When I look on the mode on um, ASOS, I tend to look at some of the beauty and I look at the clothing. Some of the clothing is really expensive. Some of the clothing is ex like really like affordable. But these guys, <gasps> I can't wait to show you these. So this is one pair, which... <laughs> Friggin' heavy. I will say one thing, Lamoda shoes are heavy. And then here's the second pair. Both Lamoda. No invoice in there whatsoever. Just a bag to dispose of. Okay, guys, what should we do first? Should we do the boots or should we do the others? I think we're going to do the boots first and save the others for last. This ring keeps catching on everything, ripping things. Right, so I put a picture of these on Facebook. Book and I may have put it on Instagram just to so kind of show people that they were on special offer. Now these guys were twenty pound. Let me just think. No, no, let me think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty. This whole order came to thirty five pound five p or something like that, guys. And my boots that I got were forty pound. That was including delivery. So all in all. I found a good buy. So here is the little order box. This one is immaculate, no bashes. It's a hole in them so they can breathe. And then at the side it has www.lamorda.co.uk. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, I will say something. Their their customer service was really really good. I will say that. I contacted them and bearing in mind all the issues and and stuff that's going on they got back to me within 24 hours i think it might have been the next afternoon they got back to me and they said you've got your return slip um fill that out um we will deduct it's it's a self-return but they will deduct the 2.99 from my refund uh which is fine because obviously they're going to refund me for the whole thing so i said that, yeah that's extremely fine I'm, I'm happy with that they said as long as they're in the the box the the actual box and stuff now that was that and then i messaged him again i think two days later because i wasn't feeling too good guys i've not been very well and i just said to him i can't physically make it to the post office which i can't i didn't realize the returns is like going to the post office and i, I can't go to the post office and I said that, you know, I am like disabled and I, I can't physically get there. I said I can only get there by like my scooter, which is not charged. I can't find the charger, blah, 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 blah. And they said, listen, don't worry about it. With everything that's going on, returns are taking longer than usual. So just return when you can. And I was like, oh, I must still get a refund. They said, yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. I was like, well, okay. And then I decided to put them on the selling side because I couldn't be bothered to go and send them back. And then I thought, no, they've got to go back. So my mother-in-law took them to the post office for me and they received them within two days and my refund was in within three to four days. So happy days. And then I went on to ASOS and found these after I looked on the motor and couldn't find anything I liked. So let's take the box off. 
So the box has got the, the little freshener in, which I'm glad about because the boots don't get mouldy and stuff. There's no strong smell of fish in these ones like the other ones, but... Because I want to show you. I'm on camera, Zach. What do you want? Because I want to show a video with camera. You want to show a video. So Zach wants to join the video. So Zach, we've got some new boots today. Yeah. Would I'll... you like to smell them to see if they, you think they still smell like fish? Mmm, that smells fishy. Is it, is it really fishy? Yes. Right. Go on, Zach. Go and play now because you're going to trip over the... No, it smells fishy. All right. <laughs> go and play. Close the door. Play nicely, please. Okay, guys. I look after Zach in the day, so although I am filming, I have to watch him through the glass windows. <laughs> okay, so I got a pair of, like, mid-calf boots, guys. And this is what they look like. Now, the only pair of mid-calf boots I own are my Dr. Martins. Uh, Lamorda. Uh, Lamorda. I've got Lamorda on it. Vonda boots. And they've got, like, red roses going around the top. They're a little bit, probably, longer. But they fit perfectly. Now, these... On inspection look great so there's not glued they're stitched and they're stitched all the way around um, I like the good grips anything like this I am happy with because it means I don't fall and slip and so forth now they've got a zip to the side and they've got these beautiful two buckles on the other side and that's what attracted me to them just the buckle detail if you didn't have that buckle they'd look like a plain boot nothing spectacular really they've got this thin lace again but in actual fact this thin lace is probably better on the zip, it actually does say La Morda on the zip, only if you look closely. Now, I'm a sucker for inspecting shoes, guys, but just from eye here, on the little buckle here, there's like um, what I call a little bit of tarnishing. So the silver has gone a little bit brown. Just on that one, it's not on this one. And it's bloody hell. Sorry, guys, I know they swore then. They're actually, they're actually slightly damaged, guys. Can you see here? The foiling's coming off. Oh, is that a film? Oh, guys, it's a film. Sorry. Right, it's actually a protective film that's on it. I was just going to say they can go back. They're all peeling. Or are they all peeling? Guys, I'm not too sure what's happening. This one seems okay. But this one has slight, that might be why they're reduced, guys. They've got slight damage to the thing. Only slight, can you see here? What I might do is just give that a little file down and give the, the side a wipe. It's nothing major, guys. It's all right at the back. I'll check the other boot and see if that one's the same. But that is the only thing I've noticed. And it might be why they reduce so massively, guys. Because these are actually £55 on the actual website. So... £20 from 55 is a massive drop and there's nothing technically wrong with the boot itself. Now, if these were all marked and scuffed, I probably wouldn't keep them for that reason. But that won't bother me, to be honest with you guys. I'm picky, but I'm not extremely picky. So that's that one. I've got a size 7, guys, obviously. Let's have a look at the other boot and see if there's any issues with that one. Uh, you can see in the box, guys, where it's actually started to peel a little bit. And it's just... Yeah, it's just that one. Guys, it's probably minor, minor fault, these boots, and that's why they've been reduced. Minor, minor fault. Now, on this one, from what I can see, again, there's just a little bit of dentation in this part. Just a little dent, but nothing major. Let's have a look at the boot. It's a bit dusty. I don't know why the boots actually look like a bit dusty. But the boot itself is fine, guys. Nothing whatsoever wrong with them. Yeah, fine. Look at me, I'm like inspecting it. But yeah, and then they zip down as well, which I'm glad that they do zip down because you can adjust them at the um, lace here if they are too tight, which is why I like this kind of boot. Um, the other ones, you just have to slip them on. I have a, a zip midway. No good to me there. But they look absolutely amazing, guys. I will do a try on as usual for you and I will talk about how comfortable they are now i will come back in either six months 12 months time and do an updated review i do have a review coming up an updated review coming up soon on one pair of my boots so um 
probably won't do reviews on all my footwear because some I will never get to wear even in a year and because we're all on lockdown chances are I probably won't get to wear them at all this year so that's my first pair of Lamoda boots guys so they were 20 pound they are running low on stock so I don't know if by the time I get this on there if they're going to still be there I apologize for that but I've got a, a queue and these are probably going to be somewhere at the back of the queue so these ones here guys so i'll tell you what these ones were called did i tell you i don't think i did guys two minutes it should stay on the side of the box yeah please forgive me so these are uk seven size uh, size seven black and they're called lamonda chunky military boot with buckles in black so that was them ones guys so you can still get them on the order but they are with a price tag that's a little bit different to this price tag now these wow i spotted these first guys and i didn't even hesitate i put a size seven straight into the basket didn't even read anything about them i just went yep yeah, i like the look of them in the basket they go and that's genuine <laughs> genuinely what i do with shoes if i like them i just put them straight in the basket i don't read anything about them or things that could go wrong with them or nothing but these i was like oh <gasps> having them now, again, I think I've seen these on the website for something like maybe £45, £35 to £45. And I was like, oh, £15 I paid for these ones, guys. Again, from AS, these are from ASOS, guys, not Lamoda directly, ASOS. But you can go on the Lamoda website as well. So, guys, let's reveal these ones, which are extremely heavy. Oh, I hope there's no damage to these ones, guys, because these look amazing. So, three, two, one. I got some creepers. Oh, they do smell a bit fishy. I don't know if it's the material, guys, but they do stink. There's a little bit of a damage to the box, but almost slightly, and they do have a hole in them so they can breathe. <gasps> My first pair of creepers. Oh, look at these, guys. Now, I am all about comfort at the minute. I will still buy shoes that, let's be honest, are very unrealistic and I probably will never wear because of my back, but there's no stopping you from like going to a restaurant and having them on you don't have to be walking anywhere you're sat on your ass all the time so you can still wear shoes <laughs> pretty shoes you just don't walk anywhere um with shoes like these i just find i can wear these all the time in my jeans i can wear these with my skirts i can wear them with my leggings i live in leggings guys because of my back directing back to the shoes these are creepers guys they're a size seven and these were 15 pound <gasps> 15 pound <laughs> i jumped on them guys now usually with asos because of the current situation i normally have to wait up to two weeks for my delivery now when i paid for these i did read the small print afterwards which you should read it beforehand guys but it did say that it could take a bit longer for these to be delivered due to the current situation which is fine they came super fast guys we are now on Monday. I ordered these on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because you can't really class Sunday as a delivery day. And sometimes you can't class Saturday as a delivery day. So it's only took technically about three days to get here. Super fast, super, super fast. Um, it was Hermes that delivered them. And obviously they've come from ASOS. But ASOS have got them out super fast. Literally, I paid for them to be dispatched the next day fantastic so let's grab the other one. Oh no i have seen a mark on the other one guys i think this is why they've been marked down in price guys i'm sure it's got something to do with any slight damage on there some people like may not be happy with the fact that there's a stain on there and will want their money back I, so there is a slight mark as you can see it now it's starting to become a little bit more visible i've wiped it that's an easy fix for me guys because i've got black shoe polish i'll just put black shoe polish on that and who's going to be looking at this little part for 15 pound guys i'm not going to complain but i have to tell you that there is marks on here because it wouldn't be an honest review if i turn around and said yeah they're perfect put them back in the bag done with i think both pairs of boots have had probably when they've inspected them and they've realized that there is a slight mark here or there that's probably why they've marked them down for that reason and i'm all right about that so apart from that they look perfect so let's talk about what we see so at the back they've got these little studs little spike studs not sharp at all as you can see i'm running my fingers up and down i've lost my nail polish on there i call this my picking nail i will often do it later i'm going through a bit of a gray thing have you noticed <laughs> 
And then there's two of them on the little lace insert here, little little hook. And then they've got two on that side, two on that side. And then they have a zip effect, like the teeth of the zip going all the way around the front, which I think is pretty cool. And then they've got this platform here, which is not that thick, guys. You know, you can get creepers that are quite like thicker than these. But I'd say these are roughly about two to three centimetres. Probably three at the back and two at the front. Um, and then at the bottom, it says Lamorda on the bottom of the shoe. No grips at all, guys. The bottom of these are very much like the boots that I've just sent back. They're exactly the same. Now, I actually do buy some grips that can stick to the bottom of the shoe. They're like, they're kind of weird. They stick separately. It's just to make them non-slip. I don't think I will bother with these shoes, to be honest with you, because I think they'll make them look really, really odd. Um, so that's that guys, £15. I'll go and try these on now because this has been a really long review and it's super hot in here. Um, I will try both on and I will tell you what I think of both. But altogether, £35 ASOS two pairs of shoes from La Moda. I'm not going to complain. Now guys, I am going to be doing a video very, very soon. It's going to be just on my gothic shoes. That could be anything from boots, sandals, heels, shoes so that will be coming up i hope you will um stick with me to see that um i don't have a, a lot of new rocks like i used to i used to own four pairs of new rocks i sold three pairs and now i kind of regret it i had two pairs of doc Mart three three pairs of doc martins now i've only got two so yeah guys i have a habit of like buying shoes crazily and if they don't fit or they're uncomfortable i'll keep them for about two three years and then i'll sell them but these these are definitely going to be in the, the goth collection. All right, guys, that is it. Stay to the end. I'll go and try these on and I'll tell you what I think. I'll probably try them on later on when Zach is not in the living room. But uh, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. Usually it's Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays. Monday is usually outfit of the week. So uh, they will be running until I have got no more clothes left to show you. <laughs> Which could be a while, guys. But if you feel like you've had enough of that, eighth of the week pop a comment on below and let me know um if you want to give me a thumbs up absolutely fantastic thank you very much it's appreciated if you want to give me a thumbs down it's all part of it so please please do so but at the same time stick a little um comment underneath with some constructive criticism to what it is you don't like you don't like the brand the shoes the video the backdrop my makeup anything just pop it on there but just remember guys Anything that I feel is not necessary to be on there, I will take off. All right, I will see you on the next one. Stay to the end. And um, yeah, catch you soon. Bye for now. they look quite big looking down because I've, I have got big feet but they kind of hurt my feet when I first put them on you know like new shoes cutting the back of your heel and stuff but I've had them on for over two hours now guys I've been away for a while and oh my god I will say one thing they're slightly tight guys maybe when they've been broken in they might feel a little bit looser but at the minute I can't feel my little toe um like circulation of my little toe is kind of gone a bit numb but like i said new shoes sometimes have this effect but i do like them i'm not sure i like them with leggings guys to be completely honest with you i think they look kind of silly i don't know what they look like with a pair of jeans possibly a really nice skirt i don't know 
pop some comments down below guys what you would wear with creepers just as a as some inspiration for me i do own a lot of leggings i own a lot of jeans um i own a lot of skirts but i just don't know what to wear as far as this now that stain that little mark is there and i can see it here but like my husband said that it's an easy cover up 15 pound guys let's move on to the next one Any ideas? I will admit these are comfier now might be just my legs are a different size to each other because I've had DVTs I don't know but I found that my um, I could not put these on my leggings I've rolled up guys because I could not tuck my legging my leggings in underneath it I would have to loosen the straps um, they're not very giving Lamorda sizes I will be completely honest if you're going to get Lamorda and if you've got big calves you may struggle a little bit um like for example um my friend who's got lymphedema if she wanted something like this i think she'd find that they would be very very uncomfortable for her these are quite tight around my ankles guys but with that said you can loosen up the strapping to loosen them i will probably sit and do that in a minute because they are extremely tight around my ankles but they are comfortable on the foot. My toe is, is somewhere around here. Um, you can loosen the buckle. So on here I'm on number two, but on this one I'm on number one. I think I might need to just sort out the, the old lacing and the straps. Now you can change the laces in these guys if you wanted to, make them a bit more funkier. I do actually like these boots. They're, they're quite nice. These look really, really nice, but over jeans or over leggings, so I will have to loosen them because at the minute I've rolled my leggings up, but I do have thin socks on. So if you're thinking about it, you've got your socks and your leggings over the top, you should be able to close these up. But they're extremely tight on the back of my back of my heel here, guys. This one's a bit looser, yet I've got that on number one. And this one's tighter and I've got it on number two. So maybe I do need to just adjust slightly until they're comfortable. But for £20, guys, I think I've got myself a nice pair of boots. I like the, the fact that they are quite, like, here in length. I like the length of them. I do own long boots, guys. It's not as if I haven't got any. I just fancied a pair of the really platformy kind, but never mind. Two pairs of shoes for the price of one. I am not going to I am not going to complain. All right, guys, time to take them off and... Um, Put them away until I wear them. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.